Ethereum price jumps on major bank approval and approaching proof of stake. Ethereum has risen sharply after the cryptocurrency's founder Italic Buterin signaled a switch to so-called proof of stake is no longer so far away, topping off a strong week for Ethereum that began with US bank JP Morgan Chase revealing it had created an enterprise version of the Ethereum blockchain. Speaking at conference in Prague, Buterin outlined the path to Ethereum 2.0, which he now calls a renity and is designed to solve Ethereum's calibility issues only thing that has created challenges for many major cryptocurrencies. The Ethereum price is up by 4% over the last 24 hours, adding some 8% over the last week, to trade at highs of $210 yesterday. Ethereum currently handles around 15 transactions per second, but his could be increased many-fold under roof of stake. Ethereum currently works on a proof-of-work algorithm, which is computing power intensive and it becomes more so as the system develops. The new system will mean the more tokens that a node owns, the more chance it has of winning the race to verify the next block. However, Buterin was not specific about when the change to proof of stake will happen. Unch is basically the milestone that we've all been waiting for, that we've been working toward for the last four to five years, and a milestone which is really no longer so far away, Buterin told DevCon 4 conference attendees. The weekend boost for the Ethereum price follows a strong week for the Ethereum's tradable token, Ether. At the beginning of last week P. Morgan revealed it had created an enterprise version of the Ethereum blockchain, known as Quorum, which allows for the operation of smart contracts. We are big believers in Ethereum, JP Morgan's New York-based head of blockchain initiatives, Umar Farrakh Old Financial Review. There are people outside our firm using Quorum to tokenize gold, for instance. They wrap a gold bar into a tamper-proof case electronically tagged, and they can track the gold bar from the mine to endpoint, with the use case being, if you know it's a socially responsible mine, someone will be willing to pay a higher spread on that gold versus if you don't know where it comes from. Diamonds is another example. Ferrex Amon come after JP Morgan chief executive Jamie Dimon praised blockchain technology but described Bitcoin as a fraud in 2017. Meanwhile, Amon Wilth Bank recently issued a bond for the World Bank on a blockchain created using the Ethereum source code. Ethereum to change the world? ETH development gathering momentum, expert Ethereum could yet change the world and propel blockchain technology to become as broadly adopted as the internet is today according to leading tech expert. Although Ethereum is most commonly known as one of a cluster of leading cryptocurrencies to make headlines in late 2017, industry insiders have claimed that its underlying technology gives it a greater value over the long term when compared to bitcoins btc and ripples xrp coins the oft touted claim is that bitcoin aims to disrupt paypal as a means of paying for things online while ethereum wants to be become according to coindesk a world computer ethereum could hypothetically replace the nuts and bolts of the internet namely servers and clouds with a more decentralized and democratic model of nodes coming together to form what believers call a type of world computer. Jeremy Allaire, CEO and co-founder of Fintech company Circle 2 CNBC today that the Ethereum movement is now gathering momentum. He said, it's a really fertile space in terms of the fundamental, technical and infrastructure. Right now Ethereum has an enormous amount of developer activity. One of the things that really catalyzed the cryptocurrency market last year was actually that Ethereum, in particular, kind of got to a place where you could build apps on top of it. You could issue new tokens on top of it, you could create new kinds of financial contracts, using the smart contracts technology. Eddie Hughes, conservative member of parliament for Walsall North told Express.co.uk is a big believer in the potential for blockchain projects in public life. The MP gave Express.co.uk a few examples last month of just how important the technology could be and how much money it could save. Firstly, how to solve a problem like the NHS, 
specifically their records that are still kept at local GP practices around the country. Mr. Hughes says that NHS are a great example of where blockchain can step into public life and solve a problem. He said, NHS records are an example. Wouldn't it be great if you could go to any doctor and they had access to your medical records? If we get blockchain right, along with other innovative technologies, these things working together could make a big difference to your life. On the prospect of massive changes to public life in the UK through blockchain technology, the MP says that government should be looking to use distributed ledger technology to make major savings. He said, this quote, often attributed to Henry Ford, if you'd have asked the public what they wanted, they would have said faster horses, not cars. Rather than faster horses let's think about how we're wiring Whitehall with blockchain. On the years ahead the MP says that these technologies are no longer on the distant horizon. He said, blockchain is becoming a real tool. Governments should be investing in these tools and using them to deliver savings that we can invest elsewhere.